Dear students, in this session we will give a mathematical derivation of steady state with technical progress. The production function which we assume is y is equal to a k raised to alpha m raised to 1 minus alpha. That is Cobb Douglas production function exhibiting exhibiting constant returns to scale. In our previous analysis, A was assumed to be a constant. Now we consider what happens when A grows over time. That is, we consider the rate of growth of A as G something like that. But before proceeding, it is convenient to define a new measure of productivity. We define a variable E as equal to A raised to 1 by 1 minus alpha. So that A is equal to E raised to 1 minus alpha. And this production function becomes Y is equal to E raised to 1 minus alpha, K raised to alpha, L raised to 1 minus alpha. And uh, this can be written as K raised to alpha, EL raised to 1 minus alpha. EL raised to 1 minus alpha. Over. So Y is equal to K raised to alpha, EL raised to 1 minus alpha. This is the production function. A is given as e raised to 1 minus alpha. With the equation of this form, we can think of technology variable E as a measure of number of effective workers, number of effective workers per actual population. In the previous class, the notation we used was A. Now we replace it with the E effective labor EL. So y is equal to k raised to alpha and uh, we have introduced technical progress in the labor augmenting for EL. L augmented by E. So, so both uh, an increase in E that is efficiency and also an increase in L will have effect on output. So product of these two variables, total number of effective workers in the economy that we have explained previously. Now, <coughs> now to convert this into per worker terms, we divide y with the EL, not y with the L, y with the EL. So it is equal to k raised to alpha, EL raised to 1 minus alpha by EL. That will give you K by, so this is equal to, we convert this production function into per worker terms. So Y by EL is equal to K raised to alpha, EL raised to 1 minus alpha by EL. That is K by EL raised to alpha k by el raised to alpha is equal to k raised to alpha actually it is it is k tilt you can say k tilde raised to alpha y by el is y tilt for our or if it is clear to you we simply ignore that so k alpha k by el raised to alpha k alpha el raised to 1 minus alpha by el is equal to k by el raised to alpha this is capital letter k not a small letter k remember that so to derive the equation for change in the K by L ratio that is 
the movement of the economy towards steady state, we differentiate k dot, now which is equal to d derivative of k by e n by d t. This will give you k dot into e l minus k into l dot by e minus k into e dot by l divided by e l square using the quotient rule and also the product rule is equal to k dot by e l minus l dot by l into k by e l minus e dot by e into k by e l is equal to s into y minus lambda k by e l minus lambda sorry minus l dot by l into k by e l minus e dot by e into k by e l that is equal to s y by e l minus lambda k by e l minus n into k minus minus g into g into k by e l that is g into let me consider this equation like this this is s into y by e l minus lambda minus lambda k by e l that is k minus n k minus g k that will give you s into y now y is equal to y by e l minus la minus lambda plus n plus g k so k dot is equal to s y is equal to s into f k minus lambda plus n plus g so remember the difference is this is rate of growth of technology cap, uh, capital uh, sorry technology uh, k by e l instead of k by l capital technology ratio we will say this is how we derive steady state in the solo model with the technical progress where e dot by e is the rate of growth of technology e dot by e e is the rate at which effective labor is increasing so we have this solo model without the population growth with the population growth with the technological progress and in the succeeding classes we will give a critical appraisal of the model and also the issue of convergence in terms of solo model of growth